I'm Caroline and I'm the Wildlife Park Manager here at Askin Brown Wildlife and Conservation Park, uh, which is part of Askin Brown College. Uh, and I'm here today to answer the question, what is a reptile? So reptiles are an animal, which means they are part of the kingdom Animalia. Uh, they're in the phylum Chordata and reptilia is the class. So that's the whole group that we're talking about today. Uh, reptiles are all vertebrates, which means they have a backbone. Uh, they're all air breathing and they use lungs to breathe air. And they're all covered in special skin, which can be made up of scales, bony parts, or a combination of both. This class includes a few different members. Uh, first of all, you've got the crocodilians, which is crocodiles, alligators, caiman, a few other species within there. Uh, then you've got the squamata squamates, which is snakes and lizards. Uh, then there's chelonians, which is tortoises, turtles, terrapins. And finally, uh, you have the tuatara, which are this one little group off on its own in New Zealand. <laughs> Reptiles regularly shed the outer layer of their skin. You and I shed our skin as well, but we do it in very small parts that are coming off a lot of the time, anytime you scratch your arm or anything like that. When they shed their skin, they tend to do it all in one go. Animals like geckos will actually consume the skin that they've sloughed off, so they'll actually eat the skin. Uh, and that's a way of kind of covering up their trail so that no predators can spot that they're around because they've left their skin. Snakes will give you a bit of a telltale sign that they're going to shed their skin. And there's a few things that we look out for here at the wildlife park. Uh, first of all, their body tends to go quite pale in colour, so you'll notice that they get this kind of pleasant appearance. Um, they're going sort of creamy whiter, just, um, just for the outer layer as it's starting to come away. Uh, their eyes also go um, opaque as well, because they have a scale that covers over the eye. Snakes don't have eyelids, so it just helps to protect the eye from anything that's in the area, in the environment. Uh, but that comes off when they shed their skin, so you watch out for their eyes going cloudy. Uh, and then they'll kind of go back to their normal colour again very very briefly and then after that they'll usually shed their skin. We tend to avoid handling our snakes when they're coming up to shed their skin and they tend to just be a bit more grumpy, you can understand why because their vision is probably a bit more compromised than usual um, and they are about to shed off all of their skin so they've got a little bit of you know, self-care to do. Reptiles are ectotherms, uh, meaning that their metabolism depends on the temperature of their environment. Um, unlike birds and mammals, uh, reptiles don't maintain a constant internal body temperature. Uh, they don't have feathers or fur for insulation, so they can't stay warm on a cold day. It's much more difficult for them to keep heat. Um, and without any sweat glands or the ability to pant, um, they can't really cool down their bodies as efficiently as animals that can do that. Uh, so what they do, uh, in order to get their body temperature how they want it, they'll move to either a sunnier spot where it's going to be warmer or a shadier spot where they can cool down. During cooler parts of the year, a lot of reptiles do become inactive, um, and that's to do with them being ectotherms and needing an external heat source to keep them nice and warm. What do reptiles eat? Well, a lot of modern reptiles uh, will feed on some form of animal life. Uh, so they might be eating insects, they might be eating mollusks, birds, frogs, um, other amphibians, maybe they're eating mammals, like small mammals like mice, um, maybe they're eating fish, um, or even some reptiles eat other reptiles. There are also reptiles that are pure carnivores, um, so things like snakes. Um, there are some that are omnivores that will eat a mixture of animals and some plant matter as well. And then there are reptiles that are herbivores as well, so ones that just eat plant matter. 
The reptiles that we have at the wildlife park that are herbivores include our tortoises. Uh, so we have our sort of desert or grassland tortoises like our sulcata, leopard tortoises who will mostly feed on grasses. Our Mediterranean tortoises who will tend to browse on like weeds and things like that. Uh, we also have our green iguana uh, who comes from South and Central America and will usually browse on leaves up in the trees. And then we have animals like our chuckwallers and our Euromastix lizards as well. The marine iguanas of the Galapagos Islands um, have one of the most fascinating reptile diets um, because they have to dive for their food. So they dive into the water, they can spend hours underwater, and they're searching for seaweed, basically grazing under the sea. That's it from me, the zoo, and the reptiles today. Remember to keep checking in for more videos and keep learning to protect nature. <laughs>